So just the other day, we woke up to a comment from DJI Support Global on the video we did about flying the Neo in the dark. And their comment basically said that when you fly the Neo in the dark, if it doesn't have a GPS lock, it's not gonna be able to make its way around. That's why it was freaking out because it needed GPS satellites and they recommended flying it in an open area with lots of access to the sky. So what we're gonna do to test that theory is take the Neo over to an open area near here, ride the bike over there, and we're gonna put a piece of tape right here over the bottom vision sensors to see if it can still handle the darkness that this simulates, but with GPS lock. So let's see how it does. So what we're doing this time is flying it with the Motion Controller 3 and the Goggles N3, just like we did indoors, but we are putting this piece of tape on the bottom. And you can see when it takes off, it's okay at first for a couple of seconds, but then it starts to drift and then it starts to climb and then it drifts some more and it climbs some more. And despite Chris's best effort with the Motion Controller 3, he couldn't get it to go back down. It just kept climbing, getting higher up above the trees to where the wind was stronger, getting blown around and he couldn't really control it. It was just kind of like drifting all around and going higher and higher. I don't seem to be able to go much lower. It's kind of staying high and it, it's in freak out mode right now going higher and higher. I know, I don't know how to... I don't know how to get it down. And eventually he had to force it to land by holding down the orange button. He couldn't make it land the normal way and he couldn't really control it. It was just kind of like drifting all around and going higher and higher. Now, when it finally landed, we were a bit relieved, but we realized that it wasn't using the GPS like we thought it would. So for some reason, the vision sensors that are on the bottom are kind of tied to the satellites. And so even if you have plenty of satellites, if those vision sensors are obstructed, it's not gonna fly well. It thinks it's in the dark, or maybe it thinks there's something below it. We couldn't really tell, but it was kind of a scary situation because it was hard to get it to land. And if Chris hadn't been so quick thinking and pushed that orange button down, it might've just drifted away from us. One thing that we did discuss that was perhaps it thought there was something under it because it had that piece of tape blocking the sensors. But when we tried putting a bike helmet underneath it, it just landed right on top of the bike helmet just like it normally would. So having the tape on the sensors didn't cause it to rise, we don't think. It was something else that was causing it to rise, some sort of lack of control. We did confirm that this area does have enough satellites by taking the tape off and flying the NEO normally and it performed as expected and had plenty of satellites. Although flying the Neo in a well-lit area without GPS does work, as soon as we lose the GPS and there's not enough light, then it starts to go crazy when flying with goggles in normal or sport mode. If you watched the other video about flying in the dark with the DJI Neo, you know that it freaks out when you're using the motion controller and the goggles. It seems to do okay when you have the RC2 or the FPV in manual mode, but when you use the motion controller and the goggles, it has a hard time flying in the dark. I wanna clarify a couple of things real quick. There are two issues here. The first one is that the Neo seems to go out of control and accelerate on its own when it's in the dark. The second thing is when the sensors of the Neo are covered up or it's in the dark, the satellite connection becomes very unstable. Now, regarding the rapid acceleration, this only happens when using the Motion 3. If I'm using the FPV Controller 3, it drifts gracefully and I'm still able to maintain control, whereas with the Motion 3, the Neo becomes unruly. At first, we thought the Neo was accelerating on its own, but we have some new insight. If I just hover the Neo in place in the dark, it drifts gracefully. But what causes us to feel that the Neo is out of control is the fact that the Motion 3 becomes extra sensitive when flying the Neo in the dark. So if I accelerate at a steady pace in the light and then I go into a dark area, for some reason, the exact same amount of throttle becomes multiplied when it's in the darkness. So if the Neo is hovering in the dark and I try to give it just the tiniest amount of throttle, it'll go full speed, whether I'm going forwards or backwards. So there's some more info that we have discovered about flying the Neo in the dark with the Motion 3. Now, as far as the second issue we're having, which is losing satellites when the vision system is not working, that's a bit of a mystery. I do wanna say in this video, first of all, thanks to DJI for reaching out and commenting. And second of all, we know you're not supposed to fly it in the dark. We know you're not supposed to put tape on the sensors. We're just trying different things to see how it reacts and hopefully allow other people to not have problems when they're in different flying situations. 
But everybody has to understand, you can't really blame DJI for this error because you're doing things that it doesn't recommend and it's not built to do. So take some responsibility, we do take some responsibility for the fact that we were trying to make it mess up and we succeeded. And again, it was only with the Motion Controller 3 and the goggles. It seemed to do okay in other flight scenarios with other controllers, so maybe there is a firmware update that could correct this when you're using the Motion Controller 3. Let us know if you've ever tried to fly the Neo in the dark and how it worked out for you, if you were able to correct the problem, and what you think about the Neo in general. Comment below, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone. No. You are the... Uh, well, if you will. Well, if you will. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.